couple weeks making sunshine feel like a distant memory. Psychologists are warning people though, feeling down on short rainy days is more than a case of the winter blues. Our Kara Jeffers talked with several local psychologists to learn about symptoms and ways to chase the blues away. Good morning, Kara. Good morning, Tracy. Seasonal depression is one of those things that just makes sense. The days are cloudy and dark and cold and we're all a little miserable. However, it's something that can be easier to overcome if you know why you're feeling down and how to improve. Tis the season for SAD, Seasonal Affective Disorder, or more commonly called Seasonal Depression. SAD, as we call it, is something that comes along in those winter months or the months that we don't see a lot of sun. And a big factor of that is you're not getting your vitamin D and some vitamin B. Less sun also reduces serotonin levels, and shorter cloudy days change your circadian rhythm and generally how you spend time. The result? Low energy, over or under sleeping, over or under eating, and... People start to withdraw. Withdrawing from people that they usually see or not doing activities that bring you joy or those little bursts of dopamine. And so it makes it worse for you. You can combat the sad though. So the more that you connect with people and connect with yourself, the better your mental health is gonna be. The less you do that, the harder sad is gonna hit you. You can also start using a light box. It's um, UV rays, and so it mimics what you're lacking during this time of the year. And so if you do that like 20 minutes a day, um, or sometimes people do it two times 20 minutes a day, um, that that can make a significant difference. Another solution, get moving. With SAD, a lot of it comes from reduced activity. Um, like we're just not moving as much in the winter, right? And like we know that like Legally Blonde says, exercise releases endorphins and endorphins make you happy, right? And so finding something that continues to help you release endorphins is gonna be really good for you. Professor Odin says just 15 minutes a day of moving can boost your mood. As winter comes, stay aware of yourself. If you know and you've tracked like your seasons and potentially you know, okay, this is something I'm affected by, then you need to, again, be proactive. Those 15 minutes of exercise can be even just walking around the hallways in your office. And I do have with me here a little light box. I got it for just 30 bucks at Walmart. So this is very available and from talking to those psychologists, a pretty proven method to kind of help boost your mood this winter. Tracy, back to you.